All right, let's check the homework from page 17. Exercise 3.1. Um, Rociel and Gabriel, you're a little close. There's an echo. Can you get a little farther, please? I don't think so. All right. Well, letter A is what? Third. Third. Letter B? 10.50. 10.50. Good. Letter C? Six. 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 D? Yes. D? A D? Is 70. <laughs> okay. E? 19. 19. F? 50. 15. 15, yeah. G? 62. 62. And H? 110. 110. I? 31st. 31st. And J? 27. 27. Okay. So sometimes, you know, students, they have mistakes between um, numbers like 13 and 30, 14 and 40, 15 and 50. But it's, it's, it's actually really easy. For example, 13. It's 13. And 30 is 30. So you need to listen very carefully. If, the, if there is an N, then you know it's the teens, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And if you don't hear an N, then it's the multiples by 10, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. Um, 3.3, how much does the woman pay for her room? 95. 95, 95 what? 95. Oh. Dollars? No. No, pounds, right? Pounds, yeah. Number two. Pounds. New students need to bring. 50? 50? 20. Oh, no. Uh, 15. $15. Mm. Okay. Number three, the garage width is. 3.5 meters. 3.5 meters and the height 2.5 okay 2.5 all right now maybe you wrote it like this you can write it like that if you want mm. both of them are correct you can also write the number like i told you three And a half. That would work too. And how much does the woman pay for the bus ticket? 55. 55, okay. And the party date is? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure he, she said her dad is in her yeah, the 29th. And, and 20, uh, and 29th. Uh -huh. July. Okay, July 29th. All right. And what about for... Did you do 3.4? No. No. No? Okay. Okay, okay. No. Cool. And 3.5? B. Number one, B. Okay. Number two? A. I put C. I don't know. Number two is C. C. Yeah. And number three? B. I didn't hear. I don't know. B. And four? I put um, A. A. 
Yeah. That's it. Uh oh. The echo. Okay. Well, look, guys, Rosier, Celine, and Gabriel, we have to work very fast today if we're going to see all of the listening skills. We have to see 10 pages today. Okay, so we have to work very fast. Um, of course, if you have any questions, ask. And if you don't have any questions, well, great. We're going to continue and work faster. Remember, well, tonight I'm going to, well, hopefully we finish fast enough so that your only homework is one section of the listening. Okay, I want to give you like something real from an actual test, from like an old test from last year. All right. Now. Go to um page 19. Page 19. We were, we were on listening skill two, following a conversation. Um, here again, remember in I think it's part one and part three of the listenings, there's gonna be two people or more. And you need to remember that in those listenings. One person always receives information from another person. All right. So you need to be able to distinguish who is the person asking for the information and who is the person giving the information. And that's what we're going to practice a little bit today. It is August 9th, 2022. The objective is to see listening skills two, three, and four. All right, Celine, could you read the instructions for 1.2? Yes, you need to listen to both the speaker carefully. Listen to the rest of the conversation from 1.1 and answer the question below. Ignore the final column for now. All right. So for right now, we're going to not worry about this column. Okay? Just answer the questions. I'm going to play the audio only one time. I'll stop so we can do it together. Recording nine. One. This one's a good deal. It costs one hundred and fifty pounds, and airfares are included in that price. Once you land, you still need to get to the ski slopes. It's a two hour journey. Yes, I know. I have a friend there who's going to meet me, and we'll travel together. Oh, that's fine. I usually organize a coach ticket for my customers because a taxi is far too expensive. But a lift from a local is even better. What about skiing equipment? I've already got all of that, but I would like to arrange insurance if that's possible. Yes, of course. All right. The first one. No need to book the la la from the airport. Do you have that answer? No? It's very confusing. It, it, it does not say it directly. But let me go back. I said we're, we're only going to listen to it once, but this is important. Travel together. Oh, that's fine. I usually organize a coach ticket for my customers because a taxi is far too expensive. But a lift from a local is even better. What about skiing equipment? I've already got all of that, 
but I would like to arrange insurance if that's possible. Okay, so number one, you didn't hear it. No? Yeah. All right. You, you did, Celine? No, I didn't. I can't hear. I don't know the answer. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, the first answer is coach. And I guess you didn't un understand the word because you don't know the word. So let me explain it. In, in British English, a coach is like a synonym for a bus. Okay, oh. it's a bus. So there's no need to book the bus from the airport, you know, to, you know, at the airport, there are usually a lot of different transportations that can take you to your next destination. So there's no need to take a, a bus. Okay. And usually a coach is like a bus for long journeys. Mm. Okay. For long journeys, like hours. And the customer wants me to organize what? No? On the tickets? Almost, yeah. almost. Here, listen to it carefully. Already got all of that, but I would like to arrange insurance if that's possible. Insurance? Yeah. Insurance. All right. There's probably another word you don't understand. Arrange. Arrange is organize. Okay. I could say, I need to arrange my room. I need to organize my room. Celine, can you use arrange in a sentence, please? Uh, I need to arrange my please. clothes. All right, very good, very good. <laughs> Rosiel, um, please use arrange in a sentence. Don't say arrange my life. Um. I need to arrange my issues. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Well, let's go on. Gabriel, the next one is for you, 2-1. Let's see. Yes, of course. And it's a very good idea for a holiday like that. Two. And it says here you'll be staying with us for two nights. Is that right? Actually, my plans have changed since I made the booking, and I was hoping I'd be able to stay for one extra night, if it's possible. I'll just have a look, and try to make sure you don't have to change rooms on the third night. How many nights will the man stay? Three nights. Three nights. Now, be very careful, because in a lot of the listenings on the IELTS, you will have two or three answers, okay? Well, you will hear two or three answers, but only one will be correct. They said two nights and then an extra night. Um, if you're not paying attention, you're gonna circle two nights. So you have to pay a lot of attention, a lot, a lot of attention. W what I recommend is that whenever you hear answers, write the answers and then eliminate the ones that are not correct. Write all of the answers and then eliminate the ones that are not correct. All right, that's that way you are very active in the listening. Okay, so let, let me write that, let me write it down. Tips. Number one, write down all possible answers. Then erase the wrong answers or erase, then cross out. You don't need to erase because you're gonna copy everything on said answer sheet. All right, let's go on. Um, Gabriel, this one is for yes. you. So Celine, <laughs> don't answer it, please. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's fine. And in fact, you'll get a 25% discount as well. Oh, great. Do you have a gym or a sports center in the hotel? And I need access to your business center as well. Yes, we have all of those. Now, 
Your room is up on the 10th floor, and the elevators are right behind you. You'll actually be on the same floor as the business center, and it's clearly signposted. Gabriel, which of the following is on the 10th floor? B. B, the business center. Good job. The gym is down on this level, and so is the restaurant. You need to go there in the morning for breakfast. Three. Now, according to your CV, you've lived and worked in a few different countries, haven't you? That's right. I was born here in England, and my family emigrated to Australia when I was very young. But your longest employment so far was in America, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I moved there once I graduated and worked for five years before coming back to England in January. Right. Which country has the applicant worked in most? This is for anybody. America. America. And you've worked briefly in accounts, but in sales mostly. Is that the area you're still interested in working in? We have a very strong sales department. Actually, I'm hoping to move into the area of marketing. I've always been interested in it, and it was my major at university. I see. Well, with your references, I'm sure we can discuss it. What department? Marketing. 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 What other um, departments do they mention? Sale. Sales. All right. Be very careful. Good job, though. Good job. Now, let's pay attention to the last column. Who is the person in each square that is giving the answer to the question. Customer. All right. All right. You remember? You remember? If you remember, then let's do it with memory. The, the first one, no need to book the coach from the airport. Who, who says that? Who gives the answer? The customer or the travel agent? The travel agent says. Travel agent. Okay. The customer wants to organize insurance. Who gives that answer? Customer. customer yeah the customer yeah that's what he wants to do how many nights will the man stay who gives the answer uh, hotel. The, 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 the guess. i guess he wants to three run. nine uh-huh other night one more night all right, all right well but she says she she check it's both it's both it's both because first she says, so you're staying for two nights. And they know I would like uh -huh. to stay an extra night. And okay, I will confirm it. You know, they are both like working on that together. And who gives the answer to two, two? Receptionist. Yeah, receptionist. The hotel receptionist. Yes. She tells the man where the, the business center is. Number conversation three, who gives the answer about America? Job applicant. Job applicant. Really? No. Yeah, because he says that he was working most. No, the person. interview. Why? She said because when she talked with the job applicant, she said that I see that you work a lot in America. In America. Yeah, is that true? And then the guy confirms, you know. Yes. Mm. All right. To America after graduation. X. Oh my God, you got good memory. I forgot everything already. And I listened <laughs> to this three times. <laughs> um, <laughs> what department would the applicant like to live in or work in? Job. What? Who gave the answer? What department would the applicant like to work in? The job. No, job applicant. Yeah, this guy is giving his opinion, no? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, good job, good job. So remember, in the listenings, one person will always answer the other person, okay? And, and that's important to you because in your question, you need to know who is giving the answer. 
who is giving the answer? A lot of times we think that because, for example, and number one, we have a travel agent and customer. We think that travel agent is going to give all the answers, mm. but that's not the case. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you have to pay attention to the person to see who has the answer that you need. All right. Let's go on. All right, do, guys, do you know what a function is? Well, a, a function in, in language. Oh. I, I think you should write this down. Um, this, this is gonna help you in English in general. A function is the reason why we communicate. Okay. For example, if I say, um, open your books, the function of this is like an instruction or to give an instruction. If you say, for example, um, let's go to the mall. The function of this is to suggest an idea. All right. Um, if you say, for example, I love tacos. This right here is to express a liking. So most of the time, well, I hope most of the time, every time that we communicate, there's a reason. There's a reason. And we're going to try to figure out the functions for these next seven sentences. But first we have to complete these next seven sentences. Okay. Great. And then I'll tell you why the function is important to you for the IELTS listening. Recording 10. 1. What about getting her a new bike? Number one is what? What about? What getting... about? Okay, I'm not going to stop anymore. Okay, I'm not going to stop anymore. Number one is what about getting her a new bike? 2. Look. That's right. We arrive on the 22nd of July. Three. That sounds great. Let's do that. Four. I don't think I'd enjoy that one. Five. You said you'd prefer to have the party outside, is that right? Six. Actually, it's just gone up to $250. Seven. Now, what about accommodation? Where would you like to stay? Okay. So, number one is, what about getting her a new bike? What about number two? That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. Number three? That sounds good. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do, that. do that. Number four? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I'd enjoy that one. Number five, you said you'd prefer to have a party outside. Is that right? right? Is that right? Is that right? Number six? Actually. 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 Number seven? No. What no. about? What about? No. What about? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, down here we have the functions. Agreeing, correcting, rejecting an idea, suggesting, confirming, moving to a new topic, checking information, and showing anger. Do you understand all of these words, or can I explain something to you? Yeah. 
Um, the age under what is showing under? Oh, showing anger. Uh, yeah, anger. Anger, anger is the state anger. of being angry, mad. Oh, uh, okay. Enojo. Okay. Letter A. Letter A. Uh huh. Agreeing. All right. Cool. When you agree with someone, you express ah. that you have the same um, opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know, agree. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know rejecting? Rejecting. You know what that means? Um, no idea. No, quiere, no, como rechazando la idea, no? Very good. Reject. Not accept an idea or opinion good 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 so in the first one what about getting her a new bike what would that be this right no. excuse me suggestion D? suggestion D. yes 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 all right so anytime that somebody says what about it could be well it could be like two things one you want to confirm something or two you want to suggest something in this case it's a suggestion number two that's a that's right we arrive on 22nd july confirming 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 e good job that sounds great let's do that i'm ready agree agree Okay. Look, the pronunciation is agree ying. Agree ying. Agree ying. Uh, yes. Agree ying. Uh, agree ying. Like that. Ying. All right. And number four, I don't think I'd enjoy that one. Um, in age or not? Showing anger? No. No. B? No, let me see. Oh, Maybe. yeah, yeah. See, rejecting an idea. Rejecting an idea. All right. You said you prefer to party outside. Is that right? What is that? Correction. Checking information. Checking information. Yes. Information. Actually, it's just gone up to 250. Confirm it. No, it's says that. Correcting letter B. Uh, B. Excellent. Correct. The purpose of that is to correct somebody. And number seven is. Now what? Checking it from outside. What did you say, Rosiel? Letter D. Letter D suggestion. We already have D. We already have D. You can't repeat it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we already have A, we have B, we have C. C, we have D, we have E. Mm, and I H. think that's so these are the last two left. I think it's F. 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 More than your topic. Yeah. I think I showed this to your group, Rociel. We can use the word now to move to a new topic. I don't know if you remember, though. All right. And, well, that is a function. Okay? Okay. Now, in your notebook, I want you to write one sentence. Okay? It could be anything. Write one sentence. About anything. <laughs> when, when an activity is easy, it's complicated, right? <laughs> <laughs> the silly in your face is like, what? What can I write? Which is one sentence. Anything. Because um, you're going to say the sentence and your classmates are going to try to guess the function. Now, it can be maybe a function from here or it can be something different. Mm 
Okay, Rocio, what's your sentence? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, today we're going to visit a, a place called Cerro San Cristobal. We're going to visit a place called what? Cerro San Cristobal. Is is this correct? Yes. All right. Celine and Gabriel, what is her function? I think it's the suggesting. Mm. Well, no, no, no. It, like it, it can be one of these or something extra. I don't think it's any of these. Instruction. Instructions? No. Oh, it's like a. Today we're going to visit the place called uh, information. No. Well, yeah, everything oh, yeah. is information. But hold on, hold on. <laughs> Celine, Celine, you said something first, and I think I made a mistake. I say suggesting to first, and after I say instruction. Instruction. I think it's a, like instruction, instruction, no? Because she said we're going to visit. She didn't. She doesn't ask. She said we're going to. Yeah. Okay. It maybe, maybe depends how you interpret it. Instruction. Ros Rosila, how, how would you? What What would you say is your function? You don't know. I don't know, teacher, but I don't think so. Instruction is the option, but I don't know what is the possible. Or idea, maybe? I don't know. Idea. Uh, I would say maybe. talking about plans. No. Talking about plans. Okay, that can be a function. Maybe communication about my time. Yeah, communicating plans. Yeah, talking about what your day. Okay. Remember, and it's very interesting. Um, we might think that something has a specific function and then another person might think it has a different function. And that's possible. One sentence can have different functions and one function can have many different sentences. Gabriel. Yes. What do you have? <laughs> uh, question. What kind of chocolate do you want? No? Hey, what kind of chocolate do you want? What is this? Taking <laughs> information? I don't know, maybe? Question is... Um, I don't know. Maybe I, I, I agree with or... Celine. You agree with Celine? Yes. Checking information. Yeah, it depends how you say it, right? What kind of chocolate maybe do you the, want? Maybe the person wants to buy a gift. Nice, nice. Maybe, yeah. Okay. And Celine? I need to do some chores. chores. I need to do some chores. What would that be? What is chores? Chores, um, you know, the, the things you have to do at home to keep your oh. house organized and clean. I need to do it. Con confirm me? Confirming? Nah, she's not confirming anything. I don't know. Um, I Let me help you. Let me help you. Well, what, what do you think? What do you think, Celine? Suggesting because I don't know. No. no well, I don't think you're suggesting. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's expressing a necessity. Uh, now, um, expressando necesidad. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you think it's something different. Maybe you can be like expressing a plan that you're not gonna do. 
Yeah, mama. Well, look, the, the functions are going to be important on the IELTS because you need to know why each person is saying what they're saying. And you need to be careful because sometimes the people who are speaking in a conversation, they make mistakes, you know? They make mistakes and then they correct themselves. And you need to know like which sentences um, are have the function of correcting something that they said, you know, things like saying, but um, actually, you know, those types of things, like they're really important. Okay. They're really important. Mm -hmm. And whenever you, for example, when, whenever you, well, a big part of IELTS is, trying to understand the the speakers or the writer's opinion or beliefs or or ideas about something and you have to know which expressions you know communicate opinions communicate ideas and and things like that okay so if you know the function about things like some expressions that communicate specific functions it'll help a lot and we'll see more about functions in a minute all right, listen to the extracts in two conversations, one for section one and one for section three. Choose the correct answers. Okay, very quickly take 20 seconds to read the four questions. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on my fan. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yes. Hi, Sam. We'd be listening section one. Hi, Sam. We'd better start planning the party. It's in less than two weeks, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. There isn't much to do, is there? Well, we need to sort out food for a start. Why don't we just order some pizzas? But we always do that. Let's do something a bit different. Besides, it's pretty expensive. Mm, what about a barbecue, then? Or we could just do hot dogs? Mm, too much preparation involved. There are a lot coming, you know. Sandwiches, then. That's easy enough. Sandwiches? That's a good idea. Hmm. Hang on. That would be even more preparation than the barbecue. Better go back to the original idea, I suppose. Pizzas it is, then. Now, we also need to think about music and invitations. Well, we don't need to buy invitations. I think we should just do them on the computer and keep costs down. Good idea. And what about music? We can just use the same stuff we had last time. It's fine. OK. Well, if we don't let people know soon, there won't be anyone there. Hmm. So let's make that our priority. Have you got your laptop? Yeah. I told you there wasn't much to do. Number one is... B. Letter A. Number one is A. Pizza. Pero dijo que, que era, ¿no? Al final. Bueno, no sé. <laughs> But she, they, they say that all the sandwich in hot dog is so much preparation. So they need to back to the original idea. Original idea. Yeah. Very good, very good. And what will they do next? I don't, I don't sure, but I think it's letter C. It's letter C, definitely, definitely. Because they're talking about, well, if we don't do these invitations, nobody's going to come to the party. So let's do that. Let's make that our priority, no? 
So what will they do next? Sort out the invitations. All right. Good. Now, listening three is uh, going to be a little more formal. So you're ready. Okay. Listening section three. Hi, Julie. Have you got time to plan our project? Sure. I've got a few minutes. We need to choose a topic based on the theme of pollution, don't we? That's right. Have you got any preferences? Well, I did a huge assignment on water pollution last year, so we could just do that. Actually, the tutor did make a point of saying not to use last year's materials, so we'd better not. It's probably a bit out of date now anyway. Mm. Also, it focused specifically on industry, and I think we're supposed to take a broad view. That's right. We could look at something totally different, like the effects of fumes on air quality. Hmm, good idea. And we could make sure we include all of the sources, like traffic and factories. Hmm. So, what else do we need to do? Shall we go to the library and look for resources? Actually, I think we'd be better off looking online. The good resources in the library are often all out at this time of the year. Anyway, before we notify the tutor which topic we've chosen, I think we need to ask the others what they're doing. Mm, you're right. We need to make sure we're not all doing the same thing. Let's ask them this afternoon in the tutorial. Great idea. Number one is... I think it's letter B. It's, it's B, it's B. Yeah. It's B. It's B. Okay. Now... Teacher, that, that, that's you, another level, right? <laughs> you don't All right. Well, look... Um, it's very crazy. You know, they in the conversation they mentioned all of the three answers. Yeah. But only one of them is correct. All right. So you had to focus a lot and just erase the ones that they say, no, we can't do that. Why cannot why can't they do the water pollution thing? Because she does last year. She did it last year. What about industrial pollution? Why not? I don't know what she said. You remember, so, no. <laughs> they, 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 well, they need to focus on something more broad. Broad is like general. They need to focus on something more general and not something specific like industrial. So they decided to do air pollution. Okay. And what are they going to do next? C. Letter C. C. Very good. Why not? visit the library to find more resources? Because first they need to know if their topic they chose, how their student no la han escogido. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Yeah. All right, yeah, those are the answers. All right. We're going to look at the phrases below and listen again and decide whether the phrases are in extract one or extract two. It's going to be tough. So go ahead, take 20 minutes to look at all of the phrases. And you can put one or two next to them, like if you already know them, for example, G. Pizza it is then. Obviously, that's about number one. So you're going to choose one or two, one or two, one or two. We need to select issues. Mm, I, what not right now oh. right now you're just okay. reading reading all of the extracts all the phrases so that you can be ready because i'm going to play the audio again and oh. then w whenever you hear the phrases you're going to put one or two one or two which audio is it audio one or audio two
All right, let's go. Recording 11. Listening section 1. Hi, Sam. We'd better start planning the party. It's in less than two weeks, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. There isn't much to do, is there? Well, we need to sort out food for a start. Why don't we just order some pizzas? But we always do that. Let's do something a bit different. Besides, it's pretty expensive. Mm, what about a barbecue, then? Or we could just do hot dogs? Hmm, too much preparation involved. There are a lot coming, you know. Sandwiches, then. That's easy enough. Sandwiches? That's a good idea. Hmm, hang on. That would be even more preparation than the barbecue. Better go back to the original idea, I suppose. Pizzas it is, then. Now, we also need to think about music and invitations. Well, we don't need to buy invitations. I think we should just do them on the computer and keep costs down. Good idea. And what about music? We can just use the same stuff we had last time. It's fine. OK. Well, if we don't let people know soon, there won't be anyone there. Hmm. So let's make that our priority. Have you got your laptop? Yeah. I told you there wasn't much to do. Listening section three. Hi, Julie. Have you got time to plan our project? Sure. I've got a few minutes. We need to choose a topic based on the theme of pollution, don't we? That's right. Have you got any preferences? Well, I did a huge assignment on water pollution last year, so we could just do that. Actually, the tutor did make a point of saying not to use last year's materials, so we'd better not. It's probably a bit out of date now anyway. Mm. Also, it focused specifically on industry, and I think we're supposed to take a broad view. That's right. We could look at something totally different, like the effects of fumes on air quality. Hmm, good idea. And we could make sure we include all of the sources, like traffic and factories. Hmm. So, what else do we need to do? Shall we go to the library and look for resources? Actually, I think we'd be better off looking online. The good resources in the library are often all out at this time of the year. Anyway, before we notify the tutor which topic we've chosen, I think we need to ask the others what they're doing. Mm, you're right. We need to make sure we're not all doing the same thing. Let's ask them this afternoon in the tutorial. Great idea. You're That's a good idea. One or two. Two? No. Number one. Number one. B? Actually, I think we're better off looking online. Mm. Two. Mm. All right. Why don't we? I'm not sure. You're not sure. It was one. We could look at letter D is two. two. What Did about? Uh, yeah. No, lo había entendido la a la actividad, entonces no 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 la hice. I think it was match uno con otro, pero no. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Por eso dije, ¿por qué no encuentro ninguna? <laughs> ah, don't worry, don't worry. Look, bueno, en verdad, well, why am I speaking Spanish? The important thing is, the important thing is that we can use these phrases 
so we can know like the different functions okay but let's just let's just finish the activity letter e is uh, one one let's ask them two two shall we go to h no it's two. two they were like shall we go to the library something like that um i you're right and that's one i think it's also two two all two. right and jay that's right two wait one it's two again it's two again it's two again um well k two two l is two. two two and we'd better start i think one, one. now we also need to two this one. is a one uh. <laughs> and oh so what else do we need to do Two. two and p but we always do that one 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 all right so we're talking about functions right here let me give you some different um expressions and functions Okay, maybe you should write this in your notebook, expressions and functions. If, if we have the expression, that's a good idea. The function is agreeing, right? The function is agreeing. If we use the expression actually, what is the function? Confirming. Not confirming. Uh, here, here. Correcting, yeah. Uh, Correcting. If we have the expression, why don't we? Suggesting? Suggesting. Suggesting, sorry. Yeah, why don't we? Por qué no? Just suggestion. What about we could look at, well, how about this? Everything that is suggesting, we're gonna put it together. We have, why don't we? And we could look at, we also have, um, what about, What other what other expressions or phrases from exercise two point four do you think be like for suggestion? Uh, how about suggesting? Yeah, qué expresiones se pueden oh. sugerir? What about uh, yeah, we already have what about. Maybe, uh, no, I couldn't. We could look at, uh, yeah. Yeah, we could look at, yeah. Shall we go? Shall we? Very good. Um, Shall we? Um, Let's see. One. So we. Call you to that? No, that's a question. Oh. There's one, two. two th there are three, four more expressions that you can use for suggesting. Four more. I one. think we would better start. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'd better start. Very good. We better start, or we better. Let's just say we better. Anything after no, we better. We also need to. We also need to. Very good. Two more. 
Well, we'd better not. We better not. And there's one more. Come on, this is the most basic way to suggest something. Let's. Let's. Very good. Let's ask them. Hay que, no? Hay, hay que preguntarles. Let's ask mm. them. So all of these expressions are for suggesting. All right. Now, what are some other expressions for agreeing? For agreeing. You're right. You're right. Very That's good. right. You're right. That's right. So we could just do that. No. So we could just do that? No, that's a question. Oh, no. <laughs> Pizza it is done. What'd you say? Yeah. Pizza it is done. Pizza it is then. Okay. Well, no. Actually, pizza it is then. Well, let's just say this. La la la, it is then. Confirming? Is, yeah. Confirming. So let's see. We already have, that's a good idea. We have, you're right. That's right. We have actually already. I'm going to eliminate so, we, so it can be easier. Why don't we? We could look at what about. Let's ask them. Pizza it is. Shall we go? We'd better not. We'd better start. And I think that's all, no? Yeah. All right. So what about, so we could just do that? What would that be? Suggesting, I think so. Or not? Just do that. We could just no, it's not suggesting. No, just it would be like confirming, also. Entonces, podríamos hacer eso? It's like confirming. So, we could just do that. Come on, what about the next one? Here are the functions up here. We also need to, oh, we already have this. We also need to, I think, is checking information or not? Checking information. We, also, we need to. Do. All right, very good. What else do we need to do? Checking information. And the last one, I think, is confirming, but we always do that. But we always, no, it's not confirming. No. Mm -hmm. Pero siempre hacemos eso. It's like that. Imagine that. But we always do that. Rejecting an idea. Very good. Yeah. We always do that. Rejecting an idea. All right. So, like I said, the functions are important because let's take the, the conversation about the hotel and, sorry, not the hotel. Well, yeah, about the hotel where the, where the woman says, I'd like to, well, it says here that you'd like for, to stay for two nights. Is that correct? And the guy says, actually, I'd like to stay an extra night. So, you know, it's not two nights. He's He is correcting her. And like I said, you have to know these types of expressions so that the listening will make more sense. You know, you need to know if they're correcting, if they're suggesting, confirming, all of that. It's going to help you. I think you understand all the expressions, right? Yes. Right. Cool, cool, cool. 
We got 30 minutes and we have not done half. <laughs> well, 2.3, listen to the extracts from, no, we already did that. Three, understanding categories. In the listening paper, you may be asked to complete a table, okay? The heading on the table will tell you the type of information you, you will hear and need to listen for. They also help you to follow a uh, talk or conversation. All right, accommodation is generally the place where you can sleep, okay? Like a hotel, a house, that is accommodation. Transport, transportation, you know what that is. Entertainment, food, and drink. I want you to put all of these words in the correct category. You have two minutes. Very quickly, juice. Drink. Drink. Coffee is a drink. Coach. Transport. Transport. Very good. Picnic. Food. Entertainment. Entertainment. In, in, inter entertainment. Entertainment. You think that a picnic is entertainment? Yeah, food. I think it's food, no? It's food, it's food, yeah. Food. A cabin. Accommodation. Accommodation. Cinema. Entertainment. entertainment. Very good. Uh, so cinema is cine in yeah. British English. What about in American English? Movies. Mo uh, movies. The movies. Very good. Tent. Accommodation. Accommodation. Does everybody know what a tent is? No. 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 Casa right. campaña. Yeah, it's like a camping house. Mm -hmm. it's a camping house. Mm -hmm. Tent. Very small, usually plastic. Yeah. Right. And flat. Accommodation. 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 Do you know what a flat is? Apartment. Very good. An apartment. Oh. Yeah, it's British. British for apartment. Uh, Buffet. Food. 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 Barbecue. Food. 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 Theater. Entertainment. Entertainment. Do you see theater? Usually, I want to point this out. Um, a lot of words that in American English and in ER and in RE in British English. Okay. Theater would be like American English and theater would be British English. It just changes the E and the R at the end with, with most words, not all of them. Okay. What is concert? Entertainment. Entertainment. Tram. Transportation. Transport. Transport. Lemonade. Drink. Drink. Train and ferry. Transportation. What is a ferry? It's a, a, boat. Boat. a big, big boat. boat. A big boat. Yes. Or like Celine said, a, a barco. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate the functions. Okay. You okay. understand the expressions, so I, I think you'll be good. All right. So, you know, you're going to have to put some words in some categories. And, th and this was easy. This was easy. But sometimes in a listening activity, you're going to have um, a table. And maybe you'll know the words in the table, but you will not know the words in the box. And that's what you have to listen for. You have to listen to for the meaning of those words that are in the box, okay? It's gonna be a little tough. Now, in the IELTS, just like in, in any other test, it is really important that you pay attention to the instructions, okay? Pay attention to the instruction, especially if the instructions are negative, okay? For example, in the listening, or you're going to hear this, complete the sentence or complete the question with no more than one word. So how many words can I use? One. One. Only one. All right. 
only use one word. Sometimes it'll say with no more than one word or um, a number. Okay, only use one word or one number. That's all, not one word and a number. No, it's one or one, that's all, okay? And it will also say no more than two words. How many words can I use? Two. Two, one. that's all? Two. Oh, one. No more, no more. Okay. Use one word or two <laughs> words. That's all, okay? And that's, and that's really important, really, really important because if you use, for example, it says no more than one word and you put two words, they're not even gonna look at it. They're just gonna say it's wrong, okay? Like a uh, big boat, for example. Like what? Big boat. Big boat. Yeah, yeah. That's two words, so. If the instructors say two words, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. But no, um, on the listening test, it, where it says to complete the sentence with the words you hear, it's going to say exactly the words that you need to write. They're not going to like, you, you don't need to make an inference or anything like that. So it, if your options are, for example, ferry or a big boat, in the listening, it will say one or the other specifically. See, oh, okay. in, in some listening activities, you need to, you know, guess or pay attention to synonyms and things like that. But wherever it, the instructions are, complete the sentence with no more than one word. It will be specifically the word that you hear in the listening. Okay. Listening. okay. Yeah, sometimes we have to listen for the general idea. Sometimes we have to listen for specific information. With this activity, it's specific information. Let's put it to practice. All right, you're going to complete the sentence with no more than one word or number. Okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No more than one word and or a number. So, maximum one word. And maybe a number. Number. Okay, so it can be one word by itself or a word and a number. Let's go. Recording 12. Hi, I'm interested in buying a ticket for the Small Business Expo next week, but I'm not sure it will be useful for me. Well, this year we wanted to focus on computer skills. So, as well as representatives from 400 small businesses, we've invited over 250 specialists in that area. Oh, well, that should be interesting. Okay. What's the answer? It's a number, but I don't remember the number. You don't remember the number? Okay. Let me play it again. Can I? Oh, no. Recording 12. Hi, I'm interested in buying a ticket for the Small Business Expo next week, but I'm not sure it will be useful for me. Well, this year we wanted to focus on computer skills. So, as well as representatives from 400 small businesses, we've invited over 250 specialists in that area. Oh, well, that should be interesting. Okay. 200? 200 and what? Especially experts in the area? I don't know. 
but not 200 it's 200 and what 250 250 and remember that's a number we still need to use a word what kind of experts are they what what kind of experts are they remember it says no more than one word and or a number so we have one we need to use one word 250. Special experts. Special experts? That sounds weird. No. In the area, you say? No, I don't know. Listen carefully. What kind of experts are they? Okay. Recording 12. Hi, I'm interested in buying a ticket for the Small Business Expo next week, but... I'm not sure it will be useful for me. Well, this year we wanted to focus on computer skills. So, as well as representatives from 400 small businesses, we've invited over 250 specialists in that area. Oh, that should be interesting. What kind of experts are they? Good. Computer, there you go. 250 computer experts there. All right. Now, look, whenever students are completing this type of activity, or when students have completed that specific sentence, these are some possible answers, but not all of them are correct. Why is the first one, not to correct. Because there are a lot of words. Many words. There are many words. Ah, ah okay, okay. Uh, let me explain another thing. You can spell out numbers. Yeah. And they don't count as words. Um... Okay, you can spell out numbers and they don't count as words. Okay. It's, it's not correct. Why is it not correct, Celine? Because they read 50. They, uh, they didn't spell 50 correct. They wrote 50. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, well, we know that the second one is correct because that is our answer. 250 yeah. computers, is that correct? No. no. Very good. Computers. It's not correct. Because we're not talking about, it's not 250 computers. No, it's 250 computer experts. So mm. the word experts needs to be plural, not computers. Over 250 computer. It's not correct. Why? Because it's Over. more than 200. 250 computer experts. Why is that not correct? Two words. Two words. There you go. And over 250 experts? Two uh, words. Because yeah. it's computer. Two, exactly. They wrote experts. Remember, don't repeat words that are already in the sentence, like the word experts. 250 computer? Is that wrong? Correct. 250. Is correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Remember, you can spell out the numbers and they don't count as words. Yeah. And the last one is not correct because the instructions say to write a word and that person didn't write anything. Okay. So okay. the word, for example, 250, you can write the number or you can say, 250. Now, I recommend that you just write the symbol and not the words because it's easier. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have any questions about those instructions? Anything like that? No. No. All right, all right. Well, we're gonna do one more page and then we're gonna 
stop. Okay. 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 Um, yesterday, I told you that before you begin a listening activity, you have to do something really important. What do you have to do? Spell the words. Spell the words before you begin the listening. Before. Um, predict. Predict. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Now, look. There's also something else that I told you to do, and, th and this was for today. And we're about to put that into practice. Write down all possible answers, then cross out the wrong answers. Okay? So right now, I want you to just listen and answer these four questions. Okay, go ahead and read the questions to yourself. Okay, let's go. House. Recording 13. 1. Right, so you need to book some flights, is that right? Yes, for me and my family. We're going to Scotland for my sister's wedding. Oh, lovely. When's the wedding? It's on the 21st of July. That should be wonderful. But I assume you'll want to fly in earlier. What about the 20th or even the 19th? It will have to be the 18th. I've actually got to attend a special dinner on the 19th. Two. Welcome aboard, everyone. I hope you'll enjoy your stay with us and get a lovely glimpse of country life. We're going to a wonderful market on Tuesday morning. I'm sure you'll love that with all the local farm produce on sale. Then on the Wednesday, you'll get to see where all that lovely produce comes from as John Smith, a local farmer, has invited us to see him at work. On Thursday, you'll have a day to relax before we leave on Friday. 3. So, what topic are we going to choose for our project? It's due in three weeks. I know. It's not a lot of time. I was going to suggest we do one on the environment. But that's so broad a topic. We should try to narrow it down. What about recycling? That's a good idea. There's a lot of information, and I think the other groups are concentrating on pollution, so this would be nice and different. 4. We encountered quite a few problems during our research. Firstly, the weather was horrendous and made our work conditions very difficult indeed. Luckily, we had the right equipment to deal with that and could carry on regardless. Unfortunately, though, in spite of having so many volunteers, we did run out of funds halfway through the project, so we were forced to postpone the second half of our trip. Okay, so you had to write one word or and or a number. Number one, what date will they leave? 18th? 18th, what? July. July. All right. So, you know, in American English, we put the month first and then the number for this I test. Do, do it backwards. The number first and then the month. What day will they visit? Will, they, will the tour visit a farm? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. The students decide to do a project about recycling. recycling and the problems is poor weather, a lack of 
Cool weather. For lack of what? Cool weather, no? No, no. Cold weather. Una falta de a lack of. You didn't hear it. Let me play it one more time for you. For our project, it's due in three weeks. I know. It's not a lot of time. I was going to see cycling. That's a nation, and I think the other groups are concentrating. Four. We encountered quite a few problems during our research. Firstly, the weather was horrendous and made our work conditions very difficult indeed. Luckily, we had the right equipment to deal with that and could carry on regardless. Unfortunately, though, in spite of having so many volunteers, we did run out of funds halfway through the project, so we were forced to postpone the second half of our trip. There's a lack of... No? All right. Maybe there's a word that can help you. Run out of, it means to use up all of something that you have. Okay. And, well, this kind of like a lack of um, not having enough of something. So run out of is usar todo de algo que tienes. Run out of, por ejemplo, tal vez tienes 100 dólares y te los acabas. You're running out of money. Okay. And igual, a lack of. In Monterrey, there is a lack of water. In Monterrey, hay una falta de agua. So, what the problems that they had is poor weather and the lack of what? You remember? I'm not sure. Um, volunteers or something? No, they had a lot of volunteers. The problem was the funds. Do you know what funds are? Funds. Uh, money. Money. Funds. Okay. Oh. So, there's a lack of funds. Um, okay. Cool. So look in in the listenings. You're gonna have these words called distractors. Okay. Distractors are potential answers but the one but they are not the correct answer okay so number three goes hand in hand with number one write down the possible answers and then cross out the wrong answers the wrong answers they are the distractors um like on number two what day will the tour visit a farm they said tuesday wednesday thursday and friday wednesday. but mm -hmm. only one day is correct so all of the other days, they are distractors. They are to distract you, to confuse you. Okay. All right. Now, on the test, whenever you have like A, B, C, D for answers, well, you can just cross out all of the distractors. But maybe when you need to write all of the words, like in this exercise, write one word or a number, that's going to be too difficult because of the listening is going fast. So if you can write the answers, do it. If you can't, then just, you know, organize your mind. Okay, this guy said Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but only Wednesday is correct. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are distractors. I'm not going to answer with that. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, um, we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. You know what distractors are. We, we don't need to talk about it. And, well, we didn't finish. We need to do a lot more. We need to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. We didn't have time, but it's fine. Okay. okay. Tonight for homework, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to send you a the page or pages and the audio so that you can complete the listening activity okay, okay. now um for
for the listening it's it's non-stop okay it's non-stop and you can only listen to the listening one time okay all right so i want you to try to you know set a timer maybe on your phone pon un temporizador por cinco minutos pon un temporizador por diez minutos and that's all or if it's a long audio play the audio and just let it run and don't stop the audio while you answer the questions okay you're gonna do one section of a real ielts test for the listening okay and remember to put all of these things into practice predictions um canceling out the wrong words be careful with the distractions and well if there's anything else that i see on the test that might be new to you i'll send it to you on whatsapp okay, okay. all right guys and we'll check it tomorrow together look okay. all right thank you for coming have thank a good day you. thank you teacher bye-bye Bye. Bye. Bye.